promise kept, Trump comes forward with epic new plan, liberals hate it. As a very successful businessman, President Trump is no doubt familiar with using leverage in his deals to accomplish his goals. According to The Washington Times, if Democrats in Congress want to pass a bill that enables dreamers to continue living here, they need to agree to a few conditions. These include things such as a green light on the border wall, recruiting more deportation agents, limiting sanctuary cities' power, and closing legal loopholes previously exploited by illegal immigrants. A White House official told press these terms are necessary if Democrats want to continue DACA. Anything that is done addressing the status of DACA recipients needs to include these three reforms and solve these three problems. If you don't solve these problems then you're not going to have a secure border, you're not going to have a lawful immigration system and you're not going to be able to protect American workers. The plan was created from a list of suggested tools that various departments within the U.S. government said would be critical for combating illegal immigration. Everyone from the Department of Justice to Homeland Security had input on a list of ideas. Most common on the list was a need for a crackdown on various legal loopholes illegal immigrants have used to gain access to the country and remain here illegally. There were also a number of suggestions to crack down on sanctuary cities by clarifying existing laws whose intentional misinterpretation enables some of the legislative power these cities have. The trade-off of DACA for stricter borders and policies is causing both Republicans and Democrats to be nervous. Some on the right believe that allowing DACA to exist at all would result in a legal backdoor that could be exploited, while those on the left believe DACA would be rendered useless by stricter policies. Reuters reports that following a meeting with President Trump on the deal, Senators Nancy Pelosi, DCA, and Chuck Schumer, DNY, believe the list of demands is unreasonable, according to a joint statement from the two. We told the president at our meeting that we were open to reasonable border security measures alongside the DREAM Act, but this list goes so far beyond what is reasonable. This proposal fails to represent any attempt at compromise. Senator Richard Durbin, D. Eel, believes the deal exploits the precarious situation the Dreamers find themselves in during the six-month deadline before DACA dissolves. Please do not put the burden on the Dreamers to accept every aspect of comprehensive immigration reform to get a chance to become citizens of the United States. That's too much to ask. The White House official was critical of Durbin's statement, saying Durbin was under a false pretense that the safety of the American people should be held hostage to some other goal. He continued, saying Congress should have passed immigration reform measures long ago. Congress doesn't need an excuse to pass laws that make our streets safer or our country safer or make our jobs more secure. It's just the right thing to do. It's no surprise that Democrats are complaining that the deal isn't a compromise, given their staunch refusal to come to terms with other right-wing goals such as Obamacare repeal and tax reform. It's also interesting that they claim reasonable border security measures are an acceptable compromise considering it's something they've already supported and would have supported with or without DACA on the line if it meant preventing the border wall from going up. The deal of trading DACA for stronger borders, limiting sanctuary cities' power, and closing legal loopholes is a fair one. DACA was only temporary to begin with and there's no obligation for Republicans to keep the immigration loophole alive unless they can get something out of it. Whether or not Democrats consider the deal fair, They'll need to come to terms with it quickly or come up with a good counter if they hope to keep DACA from going under before the deadline.